The South Carolina women's volleyball team is taking on the Mississippi Rebels to close out their three-game homestand. They had a rough outing on Friday, losing in straight sets to number 12 ranked Florida. After a full day's rest, they are hoping to begin November on a high note and get their third SEC win of the season. The Rebels won their last game with a 3-1 road win against Georgia, and they won their previous meeting against South Carolina, winning by the same score on October 2nd. This will be a very hard-fought game. South Carolina was in control for most of the first set, with some key kills and blocks, such as those from Jessica LaGross and Courtney Furlong. At one point, South Carolina had a 22-12 lead. However, they began misfiring on several spike attempts, and Ole Miss pulled off a stunning 12-2 run, including eight straight points, to tie the game up at 24. South Carolina needed two straight points to take a 26-24 set win. Kokuatoa Williams set the mark for what would be a huge block party for the South Carolina Gamecocks in the second set. However, they also let Ole Miss come back again because of setting issues. Ole Miss once had five straight points, but South Carolina hung on once again to take the second set by a final score of 25-21. to Otoa Williams and Darian Dozier each had key kills to begin the third set, but they could not hold the momentum early, and Mississippi got a hold of their first lead since 1-0 in the first set. But South Carolina prevailed in what was a very tight set, with another Dozier spike leading the charge for a 26-24 win, as South Carolina won the match 3-0. South Carolina won in straight sets, but it was far from dominant. They let Ole Miss go on several runs to make each set interesting, but they held their ground each time. Sarah Blomgren had 15 kills for the game, and Megan Kirkland had 16 digs. They will go on a two-game road trip as they take on Auburn and Alabama on the 6th and 8th, respectively. For Catville City Sports, this is Nick Varanessi.